Hi guys. So I just had a couple layouts that I wanted to share with you. Um, and a card that I made for Valentine's Day. Um, so really quick I'll show you the layouts. Um, this is my first layout and I kind of got the sketch, or I got this idea for it um, from a sketch that I found online. Um, this is the sketch here. And I didn't do it exactly like that, but um, that's what I kind of like to do that with sketches. I just kind of get an idea for what I want to do and then um, that's just kind of my starting point and then I kind of just do whatever I want. But um, So this is the layout. Lift up my camera real quick and show you guys. Um, so I used the Oliver papers, of course, and um, yeah, that's that. And then um, these letter stickers are from Doodle. Whoops, sorry, Doodlebug. Um, this is from Oliver as well. It's a little um, one of the little borders. Um, this paper is from Oliver, and this little rub on is from Oliver. And these are the photos. Um, we took my boys out yesterday to uh, the park. Cause it was a really nice day. It's been like a really odd January. It's like the warmest January I've ever seen. Um, so we went out to the park and played with bubbles. Um, but yeah, so I got, my husband got some really great pictures. He is a way better photographer than I am. Um, but my son really likes to pop the bubbles. This is my youngest son. He hasn't quite learned how to blow the bubbles yet, but it was really cute to watch him pop them. So that's my layout, that's my first layout, and then the second one is of my other son, um, Blowing Bubbles, and I kind of went with a different uh, color palette. This paper is from October Afternoon's Seaside Collection. Um, I'm actually planning on buying a bunch more of this um, because we're going on vacation in about a month and we're going to be going to the beach, so I'm going to have some great pictures to go with it, and I really like the papers. Um, but I really like the distressed wood and stuff. But um, and then right here, I had like this black vellum stuff that my sister-in-law had given me, and it was really cool. And so I crinkled it up and I tore it, and I just kind of laid it down, and then put my photo over it. Um, and I used this little thing. I don't even remember where that's from, but it's kind of a craft color with like a grid on it. Um, and then here's a couple more pictures, and here's some more of that vellum stuff. And it's kind of a thick vellum, but it's just a, it gives it a really neat texture. I really like that. This is a, a little flower from Sassafras. I just needed something else right there that had a little pop of yellow in it, so I had that, so I put that there. And then um, over here, I've got um, some what are they? Chipboard letter stickers that I just bought. Um, and they're from the k and Company Handmade Collection. I've seen these on a video from Nicole. Her YouTube name is Ginger Cupcake Cards. Um, and I just, I fell in love with them the second I seen them because k and Company is not normally a company that I usually um, look at because a lot of their stuff is kind of more flowery vintage. So I'm kind of picky about my vintage stuff, um, but I seen those and I just loved them so I had to grab them. So I got them on eBay. Um, and then here's just a little photo strip that I did of my son. I think that one is one of my favorites because you can actually see the bubbles coming out um, from the wand and stuff. And this one I love because his cheeks are just ginormous. Um, I just think they're so cute. He's just so cute. I like this one too because you can see the bubbles. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but in real life you can see them in the picture pretty easily. So let's kind of zoom out here. And there's that one. So those are my two layouts. And then I just wanted to really quick share a card with you. Um, this is a card that I made. Um, let me put my camera down so I'm not shaking anymore. Whoops. And then I have to kick it. Um, so this is a card that I made the other day. Um, I kind of just wanted to do like a 
non-traditional Valentine's Day card. And I got this wood grain stamp for Christmas and I've been wanting to use it. And I found this quote in a magazine, um, a scrapbooking magazine, and I thought it was really, really cute. Um, so what I did was um, I stamped the stamp and I used Versamark and uh, clear embossing powder on some craft paper. And then I um, went and I cut a little heart out of just some scratch paper. And I wanted it to be kind of, you know, not perfect um, so that it looked more realistic. So I cut that out and then um, I just kind of stuck it there. You could adhere it there if you wanted to. Um, and then I just got my X-Acto knife and I like carved that into the paper. And I didn't go all the way through the paper at all. It was kind of just a really rough cut and I wanted it kind of jagged so it looked like it was actually carved in there. Um, it's, it's probably kind of hard to see. There you go. That's a little bit better. Um, and then what I did to kind of make it darker, um, I bent the paper just very lightly um, and inked around it with some walnut stain distress ink like really well so that it really got into those uh, cracks and then it still wasn't standing out quite as much as I wanted it to so I did get a, a pen and kind of scratch it in there um, just to make it darker and then that little uh, heart there is from my um, Stampin' Up! punch and then I just got some embroidery floss and I just wrote that would you be mine and I kind of did it kind of you know kind of sketchy looking um, and then did some stitching lines around the edge there rounded these two corners and yeah that's about it this this paper is from Basic Ray's Max and Whiskers. Um, I'm not sure what this one's from, this blue one. This is from, uh, what is it? Is it Cosmo Cricket or Sassafras? I think it's Sassafras. Uh, yeah, Sassafras Count Me In paper. I had the little 6x6 stack. Um, so yeah. Sorry if you can hear my son crying in the background. That's my, my husband's taking care of him. Um, but yeah, so that's my card and my layouts, and um, I should be having a haul video within the next couple days. I'm just waiting on a couple things from eBay and an order from um, Two Piece. So I'll have that pretty soon for you guys. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!